Hello guys, welcome to the Cyber Zone with DK. Today we are going to talk about WhatsApp security. WhatsApp is now the largest platform for conversation. Most people do chat through WhatsApp and there's a need for us to look at its security. Is WhatsApp really safe? And if it's safe, how can we or you and I know it's safe? What are some of the measures that we can take that will make sure that our chat on WhatsApp is very secure for us? And I tell you that indeed WhatsApp is secure to some extent that when you are much concerned about security, you can have this security uh, features on WhatsApp as we are talking about. So today, I'm really happy to show you all the ways that you can actually go or do to have your maximum security on WhatsApp. So if you could see, I'm using my machine here and I have my WhatsApp here. All right, so this is WhatsApp. So when you open WhatsApp, this is what you have. You have your charts, you have status, you have calls, and that is depend on the type of phone you are using, if Android or uh, iPhone. So what we are actually doing is, what I'm doing now is even though you are right, you can still do the same thing, you can still follow. So we are looking at security. So the first thing to check about security is you come here, then you come to settings. When you come settings. to you come to account. When you come to account, you check this two-step verification. Two-step verification. So we come to two-step verification and they say enable. Please enable it. So what is there is for added security, enable two-step verification, which required a PIN when registering your phone number with WhatsApp again. So what this does is it's actually when you're able to give the code a pin here. So let's see, we have six digit to give. So I assume you are using one one one, right? You have one one one. Okay, confirm the pin again. All right. So they will ask you for your email in case you forget the pin. It's good that you add your email so that when you forget the pin, they'll send it to your email. But we, for this, we don't want that now. Okay. So all right. So what we are enabling the two-step verification. They say done. Great. So let's go back to our whatsapp so another way here is we come to security come to security and here what we are doing is we come to account accounts here we come to privacy now privacy what this means is you see your last scene on whatsapp your profile photo about you and your status when you want the public to see it or anyone has your number to see it fair enough but if you don't want you can click on it and I can choose my contact only or nobody right and i'm safe my profile picture if i don't want anybody to see it i'll just go to nobody and that is it so really check this if depending on what you want on whatsapp whatsapp give you the opportunity to actually do that right so cool things you are actually now knowing some ways that you could secure yourselves on whatsapp another way is whatsapp provide encryption and what when we say encryption it means that the means of communication I'm talking to maybe right now I want to talk to DK Cyber. If I come and uh, if I should send any message to DK Cyber, hi, this hi that I sent has been encrypted. That when there's an hacker or there's someone who is sniffing packages, he will get it as he will get it as a, a hash test. It's not going to be a plain test that's been encrypted. He has to decrypt it. It goes through a lot of process and it's not quite easy. So what WhatsApp does is they give it they give us that opportunity that all our messages are being encrypted. That's good. But you have to also check it, especially when you are talking to someone about some private information or some code or some credit card details. You have to always check it. So how can we check it? So we come to the person we are chatting with, that is DK Cyber. We click on DK Cyber to go to about DK Cyber. This is DK Cyber. We come here, we see encryption. Encryption. So on the encryption, you see this verify security code. Verify security code here means that DK Cyber on his phone will see the same code there. Right? So if you want to ensure that the channel that we are talking to DK Cyber is really secure, I will call DK Cyber and tell him that this is the code that we can use to talk to right so please verify it 
So I can send this code to him on WhatsApp or to any enemies. I can just write them and take a picture and send it to him or her, right? So that is it. So what we do here is let's take I have DK Cyber phone here. So we go to WhatsApp on DK Cyber phone. Then we go to DK Cyber there. So we come here to DK Cyber and we go to encryption. So let's see here if you could see we have the same code there that's the starting to two two one nine one two that is the same there and the last code there so that is great so we have all the code here it's being verified but i still want to find out this is really verified so what i can do is i can also scan the code here so after sending it to me i will just go to scan here then i will check here yes and it said done that means that it's verified that the tunnel or the channel I can talk to DK Cyber is really encrypted. And if there is a hacker who is actually at that moment hacking me, it will be difficult for the hacker to get what I'm telling DK Cyber. And that is really good function or feature that WhatsApp has actually created. So you could see that WhatsApp is a great platform, but what you do there depends on you or if you are really security inclined you know what you are doing on whatsapp right that's great another way is when you really care about privacy on whatsapp or online then please please do this you see whatsapp has this function that you can back up your data in case you lose your phone it's really great but what WhatsApp does is when you back up your data, your backup is not encrypted. Like when I'm sending messages to someone on the WhatsApp platform, it's been encrypted. But when I'm backing up the data, it's not encrypted. It's in plain text. That means that, guess this, if a hacker come into your device, if a hacker comes into your device, and if I, so let's do it. So we have here, we can come to security, and we come to chat so this way we are saying that backup that you can actually back up your data but when you back up it goes as a plain test either to your cloud or to your google drive right so if it goes to your google drive it may plain test so guess it if a hacker hacks your google drive or your cloud that means it gets all your information you get your messages your pictures and your videos and can use that against you right so normally if you care about if you care about privacy your your backup chat you need to uh, you don't need to back up just disable it disable it but you know it depends on what you use your whatsapp for if like you just use your whatsapp for normal chat then i think you have to back up it because you don't really do anything but people who actually does private things on whatsapp it's actually good to uh, uh, not be backing up just disable it because if i am a hacker and i'm attacking you i can attack you know, maybe your google drive or your cloud if i'm uh, if i'm serious i will attack that and i'll go and get your backups over there and it's in plain test i can easily use that against you so you have to be much aware of that so that is it we are talking about security on whatsapp so really guys you need to ha actually focus on certain you know so if watching this the cyber zone share for family and friends to actually know what actually happened on whatsapp so hackers hack, hack our whatsapp now and then every day we have so many ways hackers can hack our whatsapp we have today i'm just going to talk about them but we have another video we are going to go into it and see how the hackers hack our whatsapps and how you and i can actually secure that or prevent these hackers they can hack you through a phishing attack a phishing attack is they will send you a link claiming to do something but not the not to serve that purpose Maybe they'll send you a link that go and do that. But when you get there, they will start asking you of something and they will get access of information. That's phishing attack. They have that they can do. And also, when you join free public Wi-Fi, they will get your MAC address and they will use MAC spoofing to get you. So please, an advice here is when you're using WhatsApp, it's better that you don't join free public Wi-Fi. If there's a free Wi-Fi, guys, just don't join it. Just use your normal phone data or your Wi-Fi that you trust don't join free public wi-fi because through that if i'm a hacker i can come to a station and just open a free wi-fi anyone who is joining i will just get your mac address and start working on you so that they can do that and they can do they can also do another one called spy app spy app the hacker needs to get access to your phone 
then you install the spy app on your uh, your device so guys on your device always advisable that when you talk when you care about security just put um just put uh, security um passcode or fingerprint anything on your uh, your phone so that it will stop someone from getting access to your phone even though on whatsapp on iphone you can do that android to the half third party apps that they can do that that you can actually put a pin on your whatsapp so another security feature is just put a pin on your whatsapp uh, chat so that when you actually type in a pin or a passcode before you can come into your whatsapp to chat to prevent hackers from attacking because when they are using the whatsapp spy app uh, they have to get access to your phone and another one is they can use key loggers key loggers what it does is actually all the things that you are typing they have a copy of it and they can use that against you so guys that are some of the ways that hackers hack us but we have a full video on that so today we're actually looking at the whatsapp security whatsapp has, is a great, very great platform and always you need to make sure that your security over there or you care about security the last thing that we're going to talk about is whatsapp web pretty cool whatsapp web is a great function that whatsapp has done or has put into whatsapp that what whatsapp web does is it gives you a copy of your whatsapp normally uh, basically whatsapp was designed for mobile phones but when we when technology was advancing we saw that there's a need for us to get whatsapp on our systems let's say our computers or our mac you understand so like today i'm using whatsapp on my laptop right for this video so this we can actually get a copy of what i have on my phone on the whatsapp web so what we do is we go to whatsapp web and through whatsapp web i have a copy so when i get to whatsapp web i just need to scan it and when i scan it oh, i'll get my uh, whatsapp chat on my device or my laptop or my computer right so that that is it so when it's scanning it's not scanning now so that is why so i can just do that and i'll get a copy of my whatsapp on my laptop or my device so what happens here is when someone gets your device and he's using a laptop or a Mac or anything, he can easily go and do this and get a copy of your WhatsApp, right? When I get your phone, I can just come to the WhatsApp web and scan it. When I scan it, I get a copy of what they are doing on your WhatsApp on my phone. So it's also another way that they can use to hack you. So guys, really check those functions and make sure that all those functions, uh, when you come to the WhatsApp web and you have any login there, just log out every uh, login is there and you are really saved on whatsapp so guys that is uh, the cyber zone with me dk if you, have, if you have not subscribed subscribe to this our youtube channel and anytime you bring this good material you're actually bringing a whole show on its own about security so guys if you really care about security the person to join or the pay to watch is the cyber zone right so today that was it whatsapp hacking next video we're talking about how hackers attack our whatsapp through this uh, phishing attack, uh, spywares, keyloggers, and smart spoofing address. Alright, so guys, thank you guys for watching and stay blessed.